Okay, we're in the last couple of problems from chapter five. So number 46 on the other page said, it gave you this matrix and it asked you for the augmented matrix and do not solve it. And there is a problem like this on the final exam. So this one's really nice. Um, all you have to do is put the X coefficient, then the Y coefficient, the bar, and then the constant. X coefficient, Y coefficient, and then the bar on the other side. And that's it. That's all they want for this particular problem. Now for number 47, um, this problem is actually given, it's, it's two problems on the final exam. Okay, and so the first thing is, is um, we want to put this in an augmented matrix, right? So before I can do that, I actually have to get the constant to the other side on both equations. So I have 4x minus 2y equal to 10 and 8x plus y equal to positive 25. So the augmented matrix would be 4, negative 2, 10, 8, 1, and 25. Now for this problem, it just says for me to solve it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna solve it. So the first step is to make that a one. So I'm gonna take row one and multiply it by one fourth to get the new row one. So I get one, negative one half, and then here I get five over two after I reduce 10 over four. Now the bottom, I'm gonna leave it alone. And so this is the way the first question will be asked. It'll give you a matrix that looks like this, where there's a one here, and it'll tell you what is the next step, okay? So you need to know that the next step is to use that one to turn this into a zero, which means I have to multiply row one by the opposite of this number. So negative eight times row one plus row two, which means now I can replace row two. And this is what they're gonna want from you. They're gonna wanna know what should you do, okay? Since I have to solve this, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and keep going. So I get negative eight, positive four, and negative 20. I believe I do. Let me make sure because every time I try to do stuff in my head, um, things don't always come out. So I do get positive four and negative eight times five halves is negative 20. Okay, good. Row two goes underneath. And I will add. So that will give me zero, five, and actually five. So row two becomes zero, five, and five. Okay, the next question, okay, on the final, we'll have a problem that looks like this, where it's got the one and the zero, but it's unfinished. And they'll say, what is the solution? Okay, so you've got to continue solving to be able to give them that solution. So for us, that makes sense because we're gonna have to solve it anyway, right? So the next step is to get this guy a one. So we wanna do row two times one fifth, and that will give us a new row two. So as long as I'm not adding anything to it, I can replace that row. So one and a half, five halves, and then row two will be zero, one, and one. Now I need to use this one to change that. So I'm gonna do positive one half times row two plus row one to give me my new row one. So one half times zero is zero, one half times one is one half, one half times one is one half. Row one goes underneath, Add, I get one, I get zero, I get six over two, which is three. And so then now I know that x equals three and, and y, that's in the y column, right? y equals one. And so if they give you the answers in point form, then you just need to have three comma one, okay? So now we finally get to the last problem on this um, review. So the last problem on the, the final as well is going to be a uh, word problem that's gonna involve system of equations, okay? So let's see what the word problem is here. It says Kira bought three Blu-ray movies and two video games for this amount. Evelyn bought one Blu-ray movie and four video games for this amount. Find the cost of one Blu-ray video movie and one video game. 
So let's let x equal the blue ring cost. And then let's let y equal the video game cost. Okay, so then Kira's equation is going to be three Blu-rays plus two video games is going to total 6250. And then Evelyn's equation is going to be one Blu-ray plus four video games equals 7250. And then we just have to solve um, this equation. So let's put it first in our matrix form. So we get three, two, six, two, fifty. One, four, seven, two, fifty. And then we can solve this. So actually to avoid fractions, we can interchange rows. It's the same as writing this row above the other row. Nothing really changes the system. It's just whether you wrote one equation on the top or versus writing it on the bottom. So to save myself some time and maybe even some fractions, um, we're just going to swap the whole rows out. Okay, and then now I have the one where I need it to be. Now I want to make this guy a zero. So I'm going to use the opposite times row one plus row two to give me my new row two. So negative three times that is negative three. Negative three makes negative 12. Ooh, and 72.5 times negative three is negative 217.5. Let's put row two underneath. So we get zero, negative 10 plus 62.50. We get negative 155. So then that becomes zero, negative 10, negative 155. So then now I need to make this guy a one, which means I need to do negative one tenth times row two. So then zero times negative one tenth is zero, negative 10 times negative one tenth is going to be a positive one. And then let's see, negative 155 times negative 1 over 10 is decimal 15.5. Now we're going to use this one to change this guy to a 0. So we want to do negative 4 times row 2 plus row 1 to get a new row 1. So that means 0, negative 4, 15.5 times negative 4 is negative 62, and then row one underneath. And so this becomes one, zero, and negative 62 plus 72.5 is 10.5. So my final response is row one becomes one, zero, 10.5. Row two is the same. And so now it tells me that X equals 10.5 and Y equals 15.5. Well, remember this is cost, right? So what that means is that the Blu-ray costs $10.50. And then it means that the video games cost $15.50. And that does match what they have in the back. So that is the correct answer. So make sure that you convert your word problem into a system and then just solve the system like you normally do. Okay. Um, but that is finally the end. Good luck on your final exam.